Hi, welcome to the Essential Grid Tutorials. This is the first video in a series on setting up Essential Grid and being able to customise it for your WordPress website. My name is Sarah Oates and I'm from Endure Web Studios and I'm really excited to be a part of being able to give you some tools as you come to Essential Grid to be able to make your web page look really, really awesome. Essential Grid is a plugin that you can buy. It's a premium plugin um, that you can use for WordPress web pages. I think it's a really cool resource because it can make your grids or your portfolios just look that little bit more snazzy. You can also use it on blog websites, you can use it on portfolio websites, or you could just use it on pretty much any website. So here you can see the Essential Grid um, website itself, and this is a fantastic resource and a way that you can come and see what are some of the options and let your imagination run wild. Um, sometimes I think the best thing to do when you're setting up a web page is to go and look around and see what is around. What are the options and what could you possibly do on your web page? So this is a great place to come and have a little bit of a look at some of the examples. In this first video, we're going to show you through how to install Essential Grid, how to register it and just seeing some of the options that are available. Through this series, we'll be going through um, in a bit more detail, how you can set it up, what are some of the options that you've got available to you. You can get really detailed with Essential Grid, you can fully customise it. We won't go right into detail. If you want to contact me afterwards, feel free. Um, but we're going to go through some of the options that, you know, you can set up pretty easily with Essential Grid. And that's part of why I really love it. You can do some snazzy things without having to do too much. Um, so through these series, I'm going to use a couple of the web pages that I've set up with Essential Grid. Um, one of them is a personal portfolio, um, which uses basically posts um, to set it up. And it uses a lot of filtering, so you can do direct filtering all the way down. And it's got some nice hover effects, um, which I think look a little bit snazzy. Um, and also I'm going to be doing a photography web page and so this one uses the post function so it's got a blog where you can go in and see the full photography shoot in a blog but it's also got a portfolio and so this one works off images from the media area um, where they're tagged and that's how you bring them in and so then people can filter through and see images that relate to just a particular tag. So we're going to be using those two web pages as we go through it and I'll show you a bit of how I set those ones up and some of the other options that are available to you. So when you go to buy Essential Grid, I bought it from the Envato market. You can actually buy it directly from them, but I'll show you based on this because this is how I set it up. Um, so you come in here and you buy it from these guys. It's only $25. I'm a really strong advocate of paying for plugins when they're premium plugins. This is a fantastic plugin and these guys have done a really great job of making it and I think that we should support that. Um, there's other benefits in buying it every time you use it which is the fact that you're going to get your auto updates. Um, WordPress is a ha hacker's you know most exciting thing in the world because it's used all over the place and a lot of times people don't update their WordPress websites and it just makes it really easy for hackers to get into it or the bots that are roaming around the internet. Um, and so you need to keep your plugins updated regularly. I update mine every day for all of the different web pages that I manage and maybe we'll look at that in another tutorial. But for now, it's really important that you keep them updated and by registering your copy of um, Essential Grid, sorry, I lost my brain there for a minute. By registering it, you're going to be able to get your auto updates. It also means if you have any problems, then you can contact the support team, which is a really fantastic resource. So you come into this market, you buy it, but then you need to actually register it. So I'll just show you in the back end of WordPress. Um, so, okay, so let's firstly, you've bought it, you've downloaded it, it's a zip file, and now you want to install it. So you come into your plugins area. I've already done this, but I'll just show you where it is. You add, click on add, click on upload plugin, and here you can navigate to wherever you've got it on your desktop and then you can install it. Now after you've installed, um, you need to activate it and then it will turn up here on the left hand side. So 
and we'll go into Essential Grid and just register it. It's a little bit in an odd place. As you can see, I've already got two grids going on here. So just ignore that for now. In a future video, I'll show you how to set those up. Um, but in terms of registering it, there's nowhere that says register. It's not all that obvious. But here where it says need premium support and auto updates, that's actually where you need to register it. So if you click on here, it's going to show you that you need three pieces of information. And I'll just show you where they are because, again, they're not super, super obvious. Okay, so you need your username. Your username is for this market itself, not for the actual essential grid. You didn't actually set up anything like that. So my username here is in dual web. So we're just going to type that in. Then you need your API key. So to get an API key, you actually have to make one yourself. So once you're in the market, if you hover over your username up here, click on settings, then you'll come to this page here. It'll be on the personal information section of the page. And all you need to do is click on API keys. As you can see, I've already got two API keys already. So I've already um, bought and installed it onto other web pages, which are the two that I showed you earlier. So all you need to do here is write a label. This label is for yourself, it's not for anything else. It's more so if you have a lot of them, you know the difference between them. So I usually just write the name of the actual web page itself. Then you click Generate API Key. If at some point you change to a different web page, there's no problems. It's not that you, know, you are stuck with it on this web page forever. You can revoke it if you need to, if you no longer need it on that web page. So once you've created it, you just need to copy that API key and bring it back over to here. And the third thing you need is your purchase code. So your purchase code is actually in an email that you would have got when you just bought um, the copy of it. So here's a copy of my email and here it says purchase code. So all you need to do is copy that and we'll get rid of that email. Click over here and activate. It'll just process and then when you come down here you can see it's got a little green bar yay you're all registered you can deactivate it if you need to for any reason um, you can make sure that you are up to date but by doing this then in your plugin section it's going to tell you if you need to do an update which I think is very useful and it's going to make sure that your plugin stays as secure as it possibly can be and also if there's any new features that you'll get them um, so that is how you register it so that's it for this video. We're going to move on in the next video in um, setting up some of your media, so your posts or your images, depending on which way you're going, so that they're ready for you to be able to start creating a grid. I hope that this has been useful and hopefully we'll see you back in the next video as we start to set up an, a grid itself. Thanks.